six were pulled into the virtual track. We're never getting out of here. The virtual world is beginning to break down. If the virtual world disappears, so will speed. The exit portal should be open on your side and waiting. There it is. Speed, behind us, look! Come on, baby, just a little further. You can do it. This better work. Messed up portal must have fused them. X, we're fine, but the doors are fused shut. What? Don't touch the car, it's still hot. What? Ow. Speed, your car's still too hot to touch. What's he saying? I think something about me being hot. Are they okay? She better be. They're fine, but the car's fused shut. It's still hot, so stay back. This is ridiculous. They can't hear us over the track noise. I've got an idea. Guys, we're fine. Just get us out of here. Oh, no! Something must have gone wrong with the exit portal. They're stuck in Chim Chim. Don't worry. We'll never stop trying to free you. Will you knock it off? They're not in Chim Chim. They're in the car. Oh, in that case, Chim Chim, give the Mach 6 the old Jaws of Life treatment, please. <laughs> Speed, I wanted to thank you for getting us out of the virtual track alive. Thanks, but truth of it is, I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you know, I would never thought we'd get along like this. It's almost like we're friends. Yeah, about that. Once we're out of the car, let's go back to the not talking thing. What? Why? I've got a rep to protect. <laughs> You're safe. Thanks to you. All right, Eric, mm. hands off my daughter. Daddy! What? Can't your own father get a hug? Sure. Okay, that's enough. Ugh. Now that this is all over, Headmaster, I hope that Speed will be punished accordingly for getting my daughter trapped in the virtual track. What? I think we all need some rest. Zyle, I want your people in here first thing in the morning working on the track. I'll see the rest of you in my office tomorrow afternoon. All the excitement tired the little guy out. Speed Racer. That kid's smarter than my computer? But man, he's strange. He's definitely one of a kind. Anyway, thanks again for helping me get out of the track. No problem. Besides, I figured I'd better do what I could before you and my girlfriend killed each other. I won't lie to you, it was a close call there for a while. But Annalise turned out to be okay. Wow. Never thought I'd hear you say that. Yeah, me neither. So, you two are like friends now? No. It, yes. I don't know. I was spying on Speed like you told me when all of a sudden the stupid track went nuts and sucked us in. Tell me that while you two were in the track, you managed to get a look at the Mach 6's insides? Uh, well, I... Are you kidding me? Well, I was never alone with the car. Speed was always around. Aren't you at least a little happy that I got out of there safe? Of course, sweetheart. I just would have been a lot more happy if you had a single shred of useful information. Look, I was a little busy running for my life. Come on, you must have found out something. Anything. Help me out here. Fine, you really want some new information on speed? Yes! He keeps a box of raisins in his glove box. Annalise, you're back! No thanks to you two. What took you so long to get here? I called you an hour ago. Do you know how many gels I have to mix to get my hair like this? No, and I don't care. What I do care about is why weren't you two with Annalise when she went to the track? Uh, we were studying. Oh, really? What subject? Uh, advanced motor science, physics, history, algebra. I'm going to ask you that again. And if you lie to me, you'll both be sorry. What were you? We were sleeping, okay? We didn't mean to fall asleep, but we hit the spaghetti bar a little hard at dinner. Meatballs make us sleepy. 
It must have stunk to be stuck with speed. Like a nightmare even worse than my clown dream! Whatever. That's all you have to say about being one-on-one -on -one with the biggest loser in school? Something's wrong. She's in shock! We've got to get her to the hospital stat! <laughs> Jared, help me! Fine, get off me! It's worse than we thought. Total denial! We'll never give up on you. Speed, are you asleep? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Speed, are you asleep? What? Connor? What do you want? I was just wondering, did Annalise talk about me at all while you guys were in the track? Not really. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. She's sure to be in love with me now that I helped save her. Connor, you realize she's still dating X, right? It'll never last. She needs a hardcore bad boy like me. I'm going to sleep now. Kiss Speed Racer Doll goodnight. Look, we're talking about penguins here. Just wipe off the oil on the white parts and throw them back in the water. I've got to go. Well, what do we have here? I found them, boss. Hello, Joel. So good to see you. That little virus you put in the virtual track computers has cost me a lot of money. Not to mention almost killing my daughter. Are you going to have me arrested now? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Are you going to eliminate me? What I'm going to do is give you a promotion. What? That virus was genius. If you had only told me months ago you could do that type of thing, the Mach 6 would be history by now. I'm sorry, Mr. Zasik. I promise never to keep anything from you again. I know you won't, Joel. In fact, you're going to help me make the track more deadly to speed and his Mach 6. I will? Yes, and in return, I'll clear your name. Do we have a deal? Yes, sir! I don't touch my underlings, Joel. It's true. Ah, oh, well, don't worry, sir. The next time Speed enters the track, he'll be toast. And my daughter will be safe from your little tricks? Absolutely. I guarantee there will be no more surprises from the track. tell Spritel about the whole sneaking into the track thing. As little as possible. For once, I'm with Connor. I already told him too much when he caught us in the track control room. I don't know. Maybe we should just tell Spritel everything and hope for the best. Are you crazy? Spritel's gonna have to expel us if we tell him everything. No, he won't. He's gotta understand we only did it because the track was acting so weird. Connor acts weird and we don't do anything about that. And I thank you. But seriously, Speed, I think there's someone you should talk about this to. Who? Me! Your friends are right, Speed! Tell Spider nothing! Mr. Pancake Face, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be home with my Nana. Come Ow. on! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Why do we have to be here? I could be playing video games right now. I told you, my father wants to show us the new track system so we can win all our races and humiliate Speed. Dad? Dad, are you here? Dad? Dad, are you here? <laughs> cool echo. Jared rules! Jared rules. Jesse rules more! Shut up! You do not rule more! I so do! Nuh uh. Will you two shut it? Jared, are you sure my father said to meet him here? Yep, as sure as I am that Jared rules the most! Mm? Hey! I said, Jared rules the most! Mm. What was that? Mm. I don't know, but let's get out of here. Thank you all for coming. Can I just... Uh, no, never mind. Fine, let's get to it. It's just that... No, forget it. Are you sure? Yes. No, before you say anything, 
I just want a chance to explain what we did. That track's been acting nuts for a while now, so we went help! out... Help! You've got to help! Annalise, what is it? It was so gross. I was in the track looking for my father when a giant hand tried to grab me. A giant hand? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I know a giant hand when I see one. Of course you do, Annalise. It must have been very scary. Who needs a hug? Ew! Speed, you've got to do something. I'm telling the truth. Uh, okay. Good idea. Speed, you go check out the track. I'll walk Annalise back to her room. All right. The rest of us will look for any large body parts hiding around the track. You shoot over there once Annalise is home. This overhaul is the perfect excuse for the little surprises we're going to plant in the virtual track. So tell me, Joel, what do you have planned for me? Well, Mr. Zazik, I'm going to design multiple redundant systems whose only purpose is to destroy the Mach 6. And none of them will be traceable to me, correct? Of course not, sir. Even though you'll have complete control of these systems, there is no way anyone will be able to link you to them should they be discovered. Me neither, right? Well, actually, Mr. Zazik had me make sure that everything leads directly to you. Really? So I get all the credit if we're caught? Yes. Cool. Thanks, boss. Anything for you, Stan? Even a kitten? No, you can't have a kitten. Why does it always come back to kittens with you? Don't know. Just want one. Uh, anyway, sir, like I was saying, you will have total control of the track with the ability to design programs to destroy the Mach 6 on the fly. Excellent. Soon, I will be master of this track, and I will crush that annoying little speed in his car. I'll control everything, and nothing can stop me. What? Aw, come on, Annalise. X, do we really need to fight about this now? I was almost mashed by a huge hand. I'm not fighting with you. I just want to know why you went to speed to check out the track. I thought you wanted us to be friends. I do. It's just... Are you jealous? No. Okay, fine, yes. Well, don't be. I only went to speak because he loves all that do-gooder stuff. So I'm still your hero? Get out of here, you dork. <laughs> all right. I'm going over to the track to help Speed look around, but I'll be back soon. You'll be plenty safe till then. Okay, but be careful. That thing is gross. I will. <sighs> I look worse than that hand. Objects from the virtual track can exist in the real world. That's what we thought, too. Zyle? What happened? Those cars that were trying to smash my daughter in the track seem to have escaped the virtual world. They cornered us, then a giant version of that boy over there tied us up. A giant Connor is loose? That explains the big hand trying to grab Annalise. It's the first thing I'd do. But how is any of this possible? I think it's the energy amplifier we attach to the exit ring must somehow allow virtual constructs to exist in our world by energizing their molecules. So what do we do? I think if we can just destroy the amplifier, the virtual construct should just disintegrate. Not that this science class isn't fascinating, but could you untie us before those things come back? Too late. <laughs> Give them a bunch of targets. Speed, I don't think those things are interested in us. He must want some revenge. Ah! Speed! Ah! Max, go get the Mach 6 and get back here fast. On it. You kids, see if you can distract those cars from Speed. I'm going to try and untie Zyle. Get here 
soon. Need a ride? Thanks, dude. I was working out of steam there. You gotta destroy the energy amplifier you attach to the portal. The next stop is the exit portal. I don't think they want us near the portal. I think they know what we're up to. X, let's lead them out of the track. Maybe we can lose them on the campus, then sneak back to the portal. Good idea. in danger not her you're just a thousand times more disturbing huge like that what do you want from me let me go come on chim it's time for the real connor to save the day ah. <laughs> just what do you think you're doing i know annalise is a stone fox i know that she makes you think of getting married in a spring field with butterflies in the air get to the point nerd my point is, this isn't the way Connors do things. Put Annalise down right now, giant me. <laughs> down, Chim Chim! Run, Chim Chim, run! <laughs> Don't chase the dork, let me down first, then chase him! It's no use. I can't get past them. We've got to try. Head for Zyle's tower. Giant novelty bandage? <laughs> Here we go. All better. We good now? <laughs> wow, that giant Connor is messed up. Okay, I've almost been killed like a thousand 
times today. Ugh, I'm out of here. <laughs> What's so funny? It's just cool things are back to normal. X, you were awesome dodging the mammoth car. That thing was sick. Hello, boys. Hey. Well, I've got some good news. What's up? The track overhaul is back on schedule. And just to make sure that nothing like this ever happens again, I've had a master password placed on the track systems. Who's got the password? Me and only me. Now, no one can change the race programs without my permission. I hope so, but I wouldn't count on it. Come now, Speed. Zyle gave me his word. Don't worry, sir. Spritel's password means nothing. I built a back door just for you. Excellent. Let Speed and his little friends feel safe for now. Soon enough, I'll crush them all and smash that car of his.